name. I will read to you from the Holy Bible. This is God's voice to us. Miracles of God are going to take place in your life tonight. This is your time to turn from everything in this world and to receive the power of the blood of Jesus. I believe this is your turnaround moment. And you shall be my people, and I will be your God. I heard him like the clap of thunder. He said to me, Son, build me an army. The greatest stories often begin where lesser ones would end. The story of Morris Cirillo should have ended when he was abandoned in a Jewish orphanage. Or perhaps when anger and despair drove him to the brink of suicide. But God has a way of using unlikely people to change the destiny of the world. To this troubled place, God sent a Baptist nurse named Ethel Kerr. She told Morris about Jesus, and Morris felt something real for the first time. So intense grew his need to know more about Jesus that Ethel risked everything to smuggle him a Bible, and thus his destiny changed. His new faith eventually discovered Morris was forced to leave the orphanage since he refused to renounce this Jesus he barely knew. Ethel Kerr helped him find a foster home and took him to a church service. There, on an otherwise ordinary evening, Morris committed his life to Christ. Suddenly, he found himself in the clouds, surrounded by the presence of God. Looking down, Morris noticed two large footprints through which he could see people from every continent, every race, every creed, burning, lost, and hopeless. He recognized their pain and answered yes to his calling. Morris became God's servant to preach salvation and deliverance to the nations. The next chapter of his life was one of immense joy for the young man, preaching, attending Bible school, ordination, and wooing the beautiful Teresa to become his wife. Eventually, she said yes. From then on, they served God together. Yeah, очень благодарен. Божьему человеку за то, что он шел не туда, куда он хотел, он шел туда, куда нужно было идти. И то влияние, и то служение, которое он нес, оно оказало колоссальное влияние на мою страну, на духовное становление пасторов моего поколения. Мы весьма благословлены тем, что такие люди, как Морис Сарула, не прошли мимо нас, а пришли в самое нужное, самое благословенное время и послужили нам. El haber conocido al doctor Cerulo allá en el año de 1983 cambió rotundamente mi vida. Yo era un joven predicador. Nunca había predicado a más de 500 personas. No había escrito un solo libro y no había viajado a ninguna nación. La iglesia, el ministerio, las escuelas de ministerio que hemos hecho, las cruzadas, todo ha sido 
siguiendo la huella de mi papá. Él ha sido mi ejemplo, mi modelo y sobre todo el Elías de hoy para mí que me lanzó a las naciones con una nueva y fresca unción profética. There are millions of people in the kingdom of God who are there because of Boris Cirillo. There are people who've been miraculously healed. There are people who've been delivered from demonic oppression. There are people who have seen the light of the love of Jesus Christ because this dear man has brought the gospel of Jesus into their life. Ha sido una bendición conocer al Dr. Morris Cerulo y ver su experiencia a nivel mundial porque verdaderamente Dios lo levantó como un profeta para las naciones. Y México no ha sido la excepción. Pienso que un gran número de ministerios en México ha sido tocado por las enseñanzas y los libros y por la unción que Dios ha puesto en el siervo de Dios. Preaching the gospel of salvation, healing and deliverance, Morris Cirillo ministered anywhere and everywhere. From the start, unexpectedly large crowds gathered. Altar calls were massive. The blind see, the deaf hear, the lame walk, proof of the presence of God, the power of Jesus to save and to heal, and the call on Morris's life. But he was not content. It wasn't just Americans that needed Jesus. Morris was called to the world. In 1955, not knowing evangelistic crusades were illegal in Greece, Morris flew to Athens for his first international crusade. Met with the impossible, he did what has since become his standard lifelong practice. He locked himself in his hotel room and prayed until God gave the victory. Ten days later, a stranger appeared at his door. Good morning, she said. My husband is the president of the Bank of Athens. I am here to help you get the permits you need. From all over Greece, they came, packing an Athens theater to hear the young evangelist proclaim, I greet you today in the name that is above every name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Widespread worldwide acclaim followed, then preceded every appearance Morris made. In Haiti, voodoo witch doctors tried to kill him, but were countered by God's protective power. In the Far East, False gods entrapping people in Buddhism, Shintoism, Hinduism, and other shackling beliefs fell to the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. He is alive! In England, miracle healings revitalized historic churches. Thousands and now hundreds of thousands of people found freedom. But the story was about to take another turn. In 1962, after a vigorous crusade in Porto Alegre, Brazil, a weary Morris knelt in prayer. He humbly asked God to Give me the ability to take what you have given to me and to give it to somebody else. God audibly replied, Son, build me an army. There was no opting out. This was world evangelism on a massive scale. Those marching orders define everything. Now Morris Cirillo would pass on God's anointing on his life to Christians on every continent Beginning with the historic El Cortez Center, schools of ministry spread like wildfire across the world. Like their mentor, these student leaders became proof producers, the manifested sons and daughters of God, taking a new anointing of supernatural healings, signs and wonders into nations, cities and villages. I think one of the lasting legacy that we will all remember about Dr. Sorello is um, the impact he has had on Pentecostal movement, especially in the UK and um, most of all how um, young preachers uh, was given an opportunity on a platform to minister alongside great men and women of God. Sachez que, comme le Seigneur lui-même l'a dit, ce ministère ne mourra jamais. Et jusqu'au retour de Jésus-Christ, chacun d'entre nous, et ce sera à mon honneur de prendre également ma part dans ce travail, 
travailleront pour bâtir l'armée de Dieu afin de susciter des hommes et des femmes à travers le monde qui vont produire les preuves que Jésus-Christ est véritablement celui qu'il dit être, le Fils du Dieu vivant. And the message of the proof producer, understanding that God is not counting on my ability, what I know or don't know, but on his ability to work in me and through me to impact the world because he loves people that much. And what I liked about him, he said, come and get this power. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the power and we don't need me to come there. You go back as nationals and you do the same work that Jesus did. You know, that was what Paul, and I liked when he said and his eyes was like fire. You know, saying go and 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 run the devil out of uh, of of your country, and that is what we did. And God used us mightily, and today we are what we are, what we are, because of the impact also of uh, Papa Zorello. Ever broadening his outreach, Morris engaged the latest technology, radio in the early years, then award-winning television specials, a global daily ministry program, the schools of ministry with the global satellite network. And now a strong internet presence. God gave his servant wisdom and strength to raise up Christian leaders on every continent, God's victorious army. And marching along side by side were faithful supporters whose generous gifts enabled this army to reach the front lines of spiritual battle. And you have been the one that have taken the step of faith. You've got a vision for the lost and for the nations of the world. And I want to thank you for that. We could never do it without you. The impact of Morris Arillo on the world is that of a spiritual giant, a gifted man of God with a heart for the lost and a global vision to reach them. From his early tent crusades to the Million Soul Crusade, the Billion Soul Crusade, and ultimately training five million Christians, Morris Arillo thinks big. His work proves that nothing is impossible when God's people work in obedience to the Holy Spirit. This includes reaching his Jewish brothers and sisters in Israel where evangelizing is forbidden. Tremendous favor with the government opened the door to send movies and books declaring the Messiah's arrival to every Jewish home. We're celebrating more than 50 years of ministry to the Jews worldwide. God is raising up Israeli nationals who are going to, like the early disciples, being able to produce the proof that Jesus is the Messiah. To those proof producers scattered across the world, Morris became known as Papa Cirillo and his wife Teresa as Mama. She was mother to the nations, helping Morris start global initiatives, organize crusades, and even stepping in to help orphans. Truly, she was the neck that turned the head. We affectionately call her mama because she's mother to millions of people around the world who love her and affectionately hold on to her for spiritual life and for her prayers. Stand up, sweetheart. Come on, look at the most beautiful woman in the world. She also took care of the Cirillo home while Morris traveled, often 200 days of the year, and always remained his biggest supporter. This world will never be the same because Morris and Teresa Cirillo decided to follow Jesus. It has many, 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 many ministers growing through his shoulders, through his life. He has impacted many of millions of people, including me. If you don't believe, look at me. Look my life. Look my ministry. You can see 
Papa Celulo have legacy. Bem, algo que impactou muito a minha vida foi quando nós estávamos pessoalmente com o Dr. Morris Cirulo e ele com um olho cheio de amor e ao mesmo tempo com muita seriedade profética, ele segurou nas minhas mãos e falou, você é um filho, filho amado. Falando para mim, olha onde eu te coloquei, olha quem está dizendo para você, chamando você de filho. Então foi uma grande honra, um grande privilégio para mim e realmente eu nunca mais vou esquecer daquele dia, daquela consideração pela minha vida. He he's very humorous, very humorous. He, I guess I could think about in a restaurant how he ordered a spaghetti bowl, a bowl of spaghetti, and he would be eating that spaghetti like a little kid. <laughs> you would literally like a kid. He would enjoy it. And, and, and look at it and just eat it. And then when the plate was empty, he wanted to take a photo of the empty, empty plate uh, as we were traveling to the different nations. And just to see that attitude, just, just somebody being himself, yet being used of God so greatly. And, and that would make me smile. And he was my role, he's my role model. Papa, I love you. Sincerely from the bottom of my heart. I can never repay to you what you have done in my life. Thank you for letting God use you to touch a nobody like me. You reached out to me and you showed me love and you cared for me. Every time I have ever come to you, You have always been there for me. Thank you. Thank you. And again, I say thank you. Maura Cirillo's life is a model of surrendering wholly to God. He lived what he preached. He prayed. He fasted. Twice his wife was miraculously healed. Morris himself benefited from supernatural healings. He believed God with every ounce of his strength and the Mora Cirillo Legacy Center in San Diego promises to continue the work of training nationals and passing on the new anointing unlike any other. How many of you want to be proof producers? That's what the, the legacy is all about. Where somebody can go and sit like we had the El Cortez School and come out and change a nation because you came here and you got the anointing. Through the prophetic word and teaching of God's servant, Maura Cirillo, thousands of minds, bodies, and spirits continue to be healed. Millions of souls are being delivered from eternal hell. And new generations are being raised up in the gospel for miracle ministry and frontline outreach until the return of our Messiah. The legacy of Maura Cirillo remains an ever-kindling flame, a ministry on which the sun will never set. Shell back. 